Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 64. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to perform optimization with vendor SMT components in ADS. Before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, click on the bell icon to enable all the notification. And after you watch the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. All right, so to understand how to perform optimization with vendor SMT components, I have this simple example for demonstration. Here, I have added the Murata library components into my ADS workspace, and I have used some of that component for my circuit design. Now, these components are typically going to use the standard value as offered in the list, which are as per the data sheet or the catalog with any vendor will supply you. So you can pick a value and set up a nominal simulation. Once you perform simulation, you can observe the S parameter results or any other kind of simulation which you are performing. So in this case, you can see I do have a kind of low pass filter response, but this performance is not optimized to the specification I am looking at. So I would like to optimize the circuit, but then the question is how can I optimize? Because if you are using the inductor or capacitor, which is like an ideal component, it, that's kind of very easy. Uh, and you can do so by going to simulate, simulation variable setup. And under optimization tab, you can see all the discrete components uh, which you have in your schematic and you can activate them uh, to perform the optimization or make it optimizable. However, you can see currently under the optimization list, there is no mention of these Murata components. Then the question is, how can I optimize or make these component values to be optimizable? And there is a subtle difference um, when uh, you are dealing with uh, these kind of vendor library components. Now, typically every vendor library component in ADS, uh, unless it is a S parameter, which is usually a single value file, which can't be optimized directly. But as long as you have a library in this particular format, where you can see all the values um, as per the data sheet or the standard uh, you know, parameter value, at the bottom or at the top, you will always have this option here called discrete optimization setting. Remember, um, you cannot have a continuously changing values because any standard component will come with the standard values and they are not guaranteed uh, to vary in, in a specific step. It could be irregular step in between the values. For example, you can see here, 180 nano Henry, then it goes to 220 nano Henry, and then it comes to 270 nano Henry. So there was first a 40 nano Henry jump and then the 30 nano Henry jump. And that's true for any practical component. Now to make these library components or vendor library components optimizable, we simply select this option, discrete optimized setting. The nominal value is what you have been using for your circuit design. Like in my case, it was 6.2 nano Henry. And then you can define the min value and the max value. And this is again in the list. And you can choose any value to be your minimum value or maximum value, depending upon what you want to set it up, right? So once you do that, and also I have disabled this uh, display of the parameter value on a schematic. Otherwise, the string can be pretty long in a schematic and that kind of clutters the performance. So right now I have defined it as optimizable, uh, this particular component and similarly, rest of the components, as you can see, are also defined as discrete optimizable, you know, discrete optimizable. Now, the rest of the process is pretty standard. Uh, you can set up your optimization controller, set up the goal you want to, uh, you know, achieve. Now, while using this um, vendor library components and performing optimization, note that you could either use random optimizer type or discrete optimization type. You cannot use gradient because gradient only works where your values can be continuously changing. And as, as we just talked about, these are the discrete values, so they cannot change in a continuous manner. So you can pick either random or discrete choice is yours. So by picking random, rest of this stuff is very, very common. We go ahead and click on optimize button 
And now you can see uh, the optimizer is going through the list of the values which you have provided in different components and your circuit is getting optimized. The dotted line shows the original performance and the solid line shows the current iteration uh, performance. And pretty soon, if you let it run, the error function will reduce to zero. That means we will meet all the goals and you will have the optimized values for your circuit components. For the sake of time, I will stop or pause the optimization. Whatever is available now, I will go ahead and accept it and I will update my design. Click OK and now you can see the optimized uh, performance of the circuit. And if we go here, you can see the nominal value of this particular component is 5.6 nano Henry. We started by 6.2 nano Henry and so on. Similarly, all the nominal values of these components would have changed in order to meet the performance. Now we can run a nominal simulation and you can see it's a lot more optimized performance from our vendor library component based circuit. So hope this video was of some help to you. And if you're dealing with these kind of vendor library components, you would be able to perform optimization very easily in ADS. Thanks for your time and attention and look forward to see you in the next video. Best of luck in designing your circuits.